everybody, welcome back. It's another episode of How To Like a Noob, and I think when we left off last time, I was trying to find the Ender Dragon, and I think I might have figured out what it is I was supposed to do. I, I consulted with my uh, mind spurt, uh, resident mind spurt, uh, my resident Minecraft experts, uh, Tyler and Kayla. And apparently, these eyes only. Oops. Uh, let's see here. These eyes only. Only go, I guess, so far, and then they basically, then you gotta like venture around a little bit. So, I think we're kind of on the right spot here. Um, I just have to like try to more or less just search around a little bit, but you know, there's like all these, you know, corridors and, and uh, dungeons and I don't know, whatever you wanna call them. Look at all these rooms and everything, right? So. I gotta, I gotta start killing stuff here. I don't like you, I don't like you. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> I think this is it. Boom, that's it, I totally found it. Um, let me say, I'm supposed to put some torches on this, I think, and light this up here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so now I just turn all of these on right here, and then it activates the ender portal. All right, so let's uh, let's make sure we're loaded up here. Uh, I got to uh, let's see, let's get some torches to get rid of that ender eye. I got uh, all I have is I'm breaking on those. I thought I like I had like sharpness or something like cool on those. That's it. Okay. Well, anyways, I got my bow. Don't need my shovel. Okay, uh, I think we're ready. Let's do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, what's up baby? All right, where's the dragon? There he is. Oh no. Okay, let's see if we can get him. I guess we gotta kill these things, I guess, right? He's like getting energy from him or something. Oh. Uh, okay. Bam, got that one. Okay, so the very first thing I'm supposed to do is kill all these things. I don't know how you would do this if you were like in just like regular survivor mode. And of course I'm in creative mode, so I can't die. So I don't know like really what, but okay. So I gotta kill these things here because he's gonna like power up if I don't. Oh. Uh. This is pretty cool. How many more are there? There's a lot of them, huh? Okay, and let's see here. Got that one. Got that one. See, I don't know how you would do this in survivor mode. This is just like ridiculous. Okay, let's see if I can go flying after him here. Oh, got him. Got him. Ugh, got him. Come here, boy. Where are you going? You're not the only one who can fly. Ugh. Can't kill me. Oh, man, he's like just dodging my arrows there. Man, he's got some evil looking eyes. Oh, I got him again. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Peach Dragon, huh? You ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing on me. Got him again. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Maybe I should just try to fly into him. Where's he at? You know, maybe the bow would be a little bit better. These guys like just don't, they see an arrow coming, they just bail. I wish I could launch more than one arrow at a time. Ugh. Where are you getting your magic from, huh? I can only get him when he's flying. When he goes down for a pit stop, I can't get him. Cheater. <laughs> Look at me talking, I'm in creative mode. Uh, come on. Ugh. Gotcha. 
Ugh. Come on, man. It's going to take forever, dude. Killing Ender Dragons. I eat Ender Dragons for breakfast. You got nothing. You got nothing, Mr. Ender Dragon. Oh, I hit him. I hit him with the sword. Oh, he's getting tired now. He's getting tired. He's like, no, leave me alone. Oh, get him. Oh, man. This guy's fast. He's got moves. He can juke. Where are you going, man? Ugh. Okay. Busting out the sword here. All right. Oh, man. I'm just working him. Oh, he ditched that arrow. Yeah, I don't know how you would do this in survivor mode. Take it, take it, take that sword, man, and just shove it in your mouth. Okay. Oh, you're gonna go down. Going down. Going down. Oh. Uh, you're gonna feel the pain, boy. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Oh, man, I almost had him. I'm gonna kill him with my pickaxe. That's what I think of you, buddy. Don't even need to use my sword on you. I'm gonna kill you with a pickaxe. Oh, did I get him? Is he gonna die now? He doesn't have much health. I got him! Hallelujah! Look at it, he's gonna blow up and he's gonna. Look at that. That is so cool, man! Sweet! Is that all XP down there? Okay, let's go back into survivor mode. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, like, oh man, look at that. I'm just picking up levels like crazy. 35, 38, 40, 45, 54, 50, 60, 60, 70, 67. Any more? Any more? Can I get up to 70? And what's this mean? Can I go back home now? Oh. Or is that the end of the game? What's happening? That's the end. Okay, so I just gave you a how-to on how to cheat the game and completely win it. I don't know how in the heck you would ever do that in survivor mode. There's just no way. There's just no way. Like you'd have to you'd have to build like bridges or like stairs going all the way to the top, kill all those crystals, because those crystals, from what I understand, uh what's to say, I see the player you mean, mind daddy. Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. Uh-oh. I knew it. I'm in the matrix now. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though we were words on a screen. It's kind of spooky, man. I don't know. Like, I got a weapon just in case. I don't know why I have this, but I'm scared. I'm sheathing my sword for now. I'm protected. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep within the dream of a game. Words make up a wonderful interface, very flexible and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. The Matrix, I knew it. I knew it was real. It's not just a movie. They used to hear voices before players could read, back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? I don't know, what, nothing like that though. <laughs> this guy's like crazy. This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water, it dreamed of, and it created, and it dreamed it, destroyed it, and it dreamed it, and hunted it, it dreamed of shelter. Well. Yeah, I kind of did that in the other one. Ah, the original fa uh, interface, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the and behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt a true world in a fold of blah, 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 and a created a and a 
in the it cannot read that thought man how long is this going to go on for no it has not yet achieved the highest level that it must achieve in the long dream of life not the short dream of a game well now it's getting all philosophical on me here does it know what we love that the universe is kind sometimes through the noise of its thoughts it hears the universe yes but there are times when it is sad. In the long dream, it creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under the black sun, and it takes its sad creation for reality. The care of its sorrow would destroy it. This sorrow is part of the, its own private task. We cannot interfere. Sometimes, when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them they are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them their, of their importance to the universe. Sometimes when they have not made a true connection in a while, I want to help them speak to the world they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take for truth is merely blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I wish to tell them that they are blah, 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 blah. They see little reality long in the dream and yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them too strong for this dream. Tell them how to live is to prevent them living. I guess I should be playing the game. Is that what they're trying to tell me? I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. Yes, I am reading way too much. I want to play. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Man, this is getting pretty deep. I feel like I'm reading a bunch of fortune cookies right now. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name, Mind Daddy, player of games. Yes, it knows me. It fears me. Good. Take a breath now. Take another feel. Uh, take another. Feel air in your lungs. <sighs> Let your limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have your body again under gravity. Man, it's getting pretty heavy in here. Respawn in the long dream. There you are. Your body touching the universe again at at every point, as though you were separate things. As though you were separate things. It just repeated itself. I don't know why. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain. Father, son, mother, moon, ancestral spirits, animal spirits, gin ghosts, the green man, then gods, demons, angels, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks. The words do not change. We do not change. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through your skin and your eyes, and why does the universe touch your skin and flow through you? I can see the player. Oh, no, I'm reading it. Too slow. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, Mind Daddy. <clears throat> Sometimes it thought itself human on the thin crust of the spinning globe of molten rock. The ball of molten rock circled the ball of blazing gas that was 330,000 times massive. It, what is this thing talking about? Sometimes the player dreamed it was a miner on the surface of the world and it was flat and infinite and the sun was square white just like it was in Minecraft, I guess. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in a story. Yeah, it's, like, it's crazy as it sounds, I do dream about Minecraft after I go to bed after playing these. Is this ever going to end? I really don't want to... Okay, whew. God, I thought that was going to go on forever. All right, look, I'm back home. Sweet. All right, well, I wanted to show that to you. Hopefully you didn't get too bored at the very end there. And then um, what I'm gonna do is say goodnight. That was just a short episode here for you today. Um, I did get all your suggestions. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna do one more how-to video and then I'm gonna start playing. I got the raft, which looks like it's pretty cool. I watched a couple of videos, like Jack Sept, the guy, that guy's like super funny. Um, the Sims, I, I don't know anything. I mean, I know what it is, but Five Nights at Freddy's, again, like and, and Roblox. I have never played any of these games before. So, again, we're going into them as a noob. It should be pretty fun to start off with something from, like, the ground up and having no knowledge about these games or anything about them. And don't worry, I'll still be doing Minecraft. I'm just going to try to, uh, you know, to kind of mix it up a little bit. I do Minecraft. That's all I've done so far is Minecraft. And I, 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 it just gets a little repetitive so I want to mix it up a little bit see if we can have some fun with some other games and then of course Minecraft is awesome I love this game and I will continue to play it as well too so if you guys have any other suggestions for games I will get whatever it is that you want me to get um, so right now we'll start with these right here we'll see if you guys like them you know any of them take off we'll keep going with them hey what the heck was that
Did you see that? Big old giant meteor ball just shot through the sky right there. But um, yeah, so anyways, uh, that, that's it. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Thank you so much for the suggestions. We will be playing other games starting here in a couple of, well, a couple of days for me. Probably be pretty soon for you guys. I don't, I don't know when I'm, I'm posting all these. But um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. You all have a wonderful evening, and we'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.